everyone, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today I'm going to show you how to work with printable planner stickers in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. I think that most of these instructions would work for the standard edition of Silhouette Studio, I'm not sure. So you might want to just watch first and then play around with your edition to see if you can do some of these same things. The purpose of this is sometimes you'll get a printable and you don't really need everything that's included in the printable and or maybe you need multiples of some things that there are not enough of, you need more of them or you may run into the problem where the printable goes all the way to the edge and you need that margin uh, on the page for your silhouette to actually pick up the registration marks correctly. For instance, this, um, this design goes a little bit over into the edges. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to work with that. And zoom out a little bit so you can see what we're working with. So this is one of my um, printables and it's basically a sampler. So it kind of gives you a little bit of everything and I always try to maximize the use of the space. It'll try to give you a decent margin but sometimes the silhouette can be a little too cranky so you kind of have to, you have to adjust for that. So what I do, I open the design in studio, which I've already done. And then I usually go ahead and save it. So I save the file. Now I go over here to the knife tool. And basically, you just want the straight edge. Now I'm not really good with this um, interface, I'm a, more of an Adobe designer, I use Adobe a lot. So you'll see me clicking around on stuff, trying to find what I need because it's not really intuitive to me yet. I haven't used it long enough for it to be intuitive. But anyway, so where I usually start is I'll go ahead and cut off some of the things that I don't need. So for instance, I don't need the copyright information at the bottom, the logo and everything. So let's cut that off and get it out of the way. So basically you just drag the knife tool across wherever you want to cut at. And what I did then is I held down the shift key to actually get a completely straight line. And I'm going to show you again because I'm going to remove these two uh, washi bars. So again, you click on your knife. You can either start at the top. I kind of try to line up and make sure I don't cut into the design and hold it when you start drawing down with your knife, hold down the shift key and you'll get a straight line. And I'm holding the shift key and so if I move the knife left or right, it doesn't move. But if I let that shift key go, it's going to go in any direction I swing it in. So again, holding down the shift key and I get a straight line. It cuts it. I click on the select tool and I drag this off of my mat. It's going to take this one off too. So we go back to the knife tool, line this up, hold down that shift key so you can get a straight line and drag it off the mat. So, okay, maybe we've moved off enough items now that we can print and stay out of the, the margins necessary for print and cut with the silhouette. So I'm going to go over here, which I probably should have done first, and turn on my registration marks. Now, I think normally they come up at 0.5. I had already been in this playing around a little bit. So what I usually do is open them up as far as they will go, which is I usually just type in 0.3 and it automatically just it automatically just um, goes to the correct number. The smallest margin you can get when studio. So 0.394 margin all the way around. Let's zoom in here. So as you can see, this is really supposed to be like a safety zone 
for the silhouette to read the registration marks. So I'm still in that zone. So what I can do is basically just cut off anything that I don't need or just totally reorganize this. It's really up to you. The quickest and easiest way in this particular example would be to just cut this in half. and just print part of it at a time. If that wastes a lot of paper, you know, I don't like wasting paper. But say, I only wanted part of this design. You know, you can put, a, you could import a completely different design in here, or you could make multiples of what you have. So since I only have two to-dos, let's cut out the to-dos as well. You're going to just cut across here. And separate that. And then we can, let's see, let's separate here. And separate here. And that might be too close to the edge. Let's see. Nope. Okay. So. Now I've cut it down to even smaller pieces. So I need to go ahead and cut these. Nope. Undo that. Okay. Let's see. I hope that cut. Yes. Okay. So I don't need those appointment stickers right now. I do want these little half boxes. And of course, I want my full boxes. I'm a full box fan. So I don't, I'm not sure that I need these either right now. So I'm going to go back and I'm also going to take part of this design also and cut that off. And I want my weekend banner. So basically, it's just like kind of like a puzzle. You just well, not like a puzzle. You just take off what you need, what you want. So I'm not going to use these washi pieces. I'm going to use all the full boxes and the half boxes. And I'm going to, let me take off. I did cut a little bit off of the edge of that. Okay. So I'm just going to take off the extra, some of the extra white. And really, I could just delete that. And this little piece, I can just delete. So just drag this down here. Now I want to make a copy of this. So I want more than just these two. So I'm just going to go over here and duplicate right under the replicate option. So now I have four of them. And if I wanted even more, I could duplicate and make some more. We're not going to do that this time. So now I am going to make some more header flags and I'm going to duplicate below multiple times. Two, four. That's more than enough to do's, I think. Yeah. Okay. So now I have all the pieces that I want, I think. And I've laid it out within my margin, let's zoom out a little bit more, make sure I have everything, yes. Yeah, I've lined everything up pretty much, ready to go. So, and yeah, so that's it for now. I hope this was helpful to someone and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later, bye.